Are you wearing a bridal outfit? <laughs> yeah! Nice! Star. We're here to get our pulled wax. <laughs> <laughs> now who makes more, huh? <laughs> now who makes more? Engage your core, lock your arms. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> You're fine. Can you give us all of the evidence? I mean, I'll buy your house right now. You had to sit in a class with premature files. <laughs> Did Question. I come? Once I saw my mom in handcuffs. You fart. You fart. You fart. <laughs> Welcome to Haunted Homies with Matt Rife, Elton Castay, and Corey Shearer. A show about all things that haunt you. From ghosts and monsters to worse life decisions, bad breakups, embarrassing moments, and unforgettable stories. All told live from within Comedy Club. Oh, what's up? Oh my goodness. Damn. God. Dude, thank you guys so much for coming out, man. This is awesome. All right, so the last show, we decided to open Pandora's box and figure out if anyone in the crowd wanted to admit to something that they had done before that no one ever knew, like a prank or a crime or anything like that. We found out y'all are f Yeah. <laughs> what the f It's actually not funny, you guys. You guys hurt people. Numerous stories of fifth graders trying to kill their teachers. That was a real thing that Swear happened on the last show. It's like six yeah. people who were like, I tried to murder this. They're like, why? B minus. <laughs> like, ah, I get it. So we really want to find out if anyone has a story that they want to admit to, something they've done that haunts them, that they finally like, tonight's the night. I'm going to take credit for what I did. So we're curious if anyone, does anyone have a story right off the top of their head? There are no cops here. This is a safe space. Yeah. Everyone's going to be okay. Ignore everyone... all the cameras and the microphones. Yeah, ignore those. Those are fine. You can't use it. It's like a, it's like a rap song. You know what I mean? You can't be incriminated anymore. <laughs> oh. You have one? Oh, we got one. This isn't going to be good. This is an involuntary story. What is it? wanted by the cops and I drove them across state lines and we ran from the cops for like three hours. Your ex was wanted by the cops and you ran him over state lines. We, I drove him over state lines to run from the cops for like three hours. That's love right there. <laughs> wow. Most of y'all, man, most of y'all wouldn't even call your man an Uber if he was wanted by the cops. <laughs> y'all really ain't shit, man. Bonnie and Clyde, I love that. What was he wanted for? Uh, stealing. Your heart? Nah. <laughs> She's like, no, tens of thousands of dollars. My yeah. arm, Ten arm kilos arm. of heroin. But <laughs> what, 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 what did he steal? He stole like a thousand dollars worth of crap from Walmart. A thousand dollars worth of from Walmart? I think that's all of Walmart. <laughs> that's so does Walmart pay for it? <laughs> That's love, though. You knew you, like, were you guys, when you say you were running from the cops, was it, like, active, like, sirens chasing you? Or, like, you were just kind of, you know, running away from them? Towards the end, yes. Towards the end. And did they catch you? Uh, we just dropped the police station. I said, screw this, I'm not going to jail, you go. So you dropped him off at the police station? I went back, that's not love. <laughs> that's, uh, it's kind of a move, if I'm being honest. Like... He must have felt so secure. He was like, you my ride or die. And she was like, die, pull up. <laughs> you know what I feel like happened? Uh, Everything was okay. And then like two hours in, you guys got into an argument. Oh my God. <laughs> you know where we're going. I love you, babe. I love you too. Let me see your phone. What? <laughs> no. <laughs> Police station, pull up. <laughs> Let me go through your phone right now. <laughs> She's just like, let me out up here. <laughs> you stole a thousand dollars worth of not one thing for me? What the f <laughs> That's good love right there. Wow. He, he stole a thousand dollars worth of video games? And then he would sell them to GameStop for more money. <laughs> for thirty dollars? For more money to GameStop? Not the GameStop I know. <laughs> no. Games it could be the newest Call of Duty and GameStop is like best I can do, you owe me twenty dollars. <laughs> It just came out. <laughs> That's wild. So I was used. At GameStop, sorry. But they, so they, Walmart would sell it for ten dollars, and gamers would buy it for forty. Walmart sells video games for ten dollars. GameStop sells it for forty. Wait, uh, hold on. You could he could have just bought it for ten dollars and sold it for forty, mm -hmm. made thirty dollars without committing a crime, and got that f greedy over. Yeah. Okay. You deserve that. Give it up. That's amazing. That's that's love. That's love right that's there. That's love right there.
Wow. All right. Anybody top that? Has anybody sucked a man's in the electric chair or something? <laughs> what do you want as your final meal? <laughs> you didn't say I had to eat it. You know what I mean? You know how electricity conducts through like poles? Just. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Can anybody top that? Is anybody. Is anybody. Uh... Oh, wait, we got one. Someone was murdered in my vacation rental home. Someone was murdered in your vacation rental home? Wait, you are got you. money, okay. All right. Wait, the whole, the whole premise is that you're admitting to something. I was not there. I lived in California. Okay. Where's this vacation rental home? Minnesota. Minnesota? Who the f*** is vacationing? <laughs> and are you sure it wasn't a suicide? <laughs> the Wi-Fi won't connect. <laughs> <laughs> Non-refundable. <laughs> $700 cleaning fee. <laughs> Care I'll do it. Anyways, how were they murdered? <laughs> What's that? A hollow bullet. One more time? A hollow bullet. A hollow bullet. What? What? What's a hollow bullet? A hollow point. Oh, a hollow, oh, a hollow point bullet. Okay, that checks. So, so shot. Say that. <laughs> yeah. I don't need to know buckshot. Like, I don't need to know <laughs> weird details like that. Left handed. Like, why are you giving me weird details? Shot. Okay. Murdered in the... Do you still own this property? Just sold it. Just sold it. Did you tell somebody somebody died in there? I had to disclose it. You had to disclose it. Is it haunted now? Could be. Could be. <laughs> well, good for you. Yeah, well, you didn't murder them, right? Okay, so you're not admitting to something. Okay, this okay. is good. Not That's the theme good. of the question we're kind of asking, but I appreciate you bragging about having two homes. Thank you. <laughs> we know what you're doing. <laughs> let's, let's tighten it to a more specific question then. Because um, like we said, last show we kind of asked the theme of like, has anybody committed like any kind of fun pranks they were doing on their friends or family or just maybe a coworker maybe that it just went a little too far, that it maybe haunts you a little bit, that you have a little bit of regret because it went a little too far? See a, a little turkey hand right there? Yeah. <laughs> What's that? What'd you do? <laughs> I'm a coworker and I... I feel like y'all shouldn't be sitting that close to be coworkers. <laughs> <laughs> okay. My boss and we're Wait. Okay. Power dynamic, dog. Nice. So it's one night after the bar, I walked her home, and turns out one thing led to another. What does that mean? <laughs> nice. Dude, how do you have your coworker who's also your boss? I love that so much, and I love that she's a woman and your boss. I love that. He's still dirty talking like, who, now who makes more, huh? <laughs> now who make, 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 makes more? I like that. All right, so why'd this go too far? Is, is that your confession that you guys are fucking now? I feel like no one knows that we're together. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh. Yeah, so no one knows except Not for 300 people now. Not even the people you're sitting with knew until right now. Are those also your coworkers? Yes. Oh, oh man. <laughs> they were like, I knew the break room stunk. <laughs> I knew it. Where do you guys work? A restaurant. A restaurant? Ew. It's Olive Garden, but you guys make it smell like Red Lobster. <laughs> <laughs> That's why the breadsticks never came out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, all right. You don't have to say which restaurant, but it's fun to imagine. Okay. Is that the is that the full confession as well? My family thinks he's gay. What's that? My family thinks he's gay. Your family thinks he's gay? Nice, dog. Under the radar. <laughs> I like that. Stick it. Why, why do they think he's gay? He's your roommate. Oh, you told him you were his roommate? You guys do share a room sometimes. 
That checks out. Are you also actually roommates? Yes. <laughs> what? <laughs> your boss is your roommate who's also your boyfriend? Who's also and your f- buddy. <laughs> what the f***? Th- that's too much going on in one household. <laughs> Who's also secretly not gay. <laughs> yeah. Secretly not gay is hilarious. <laughs> Wait, oh do you have like a persona you put on when you walk around everybody? <laughs> He's what? 10 years younger than you are? Yeah! Nice, dog. Yeah! <laughs> nice. <laughs> you keep keeping these secrets, you're going to age those 10 years real fast. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Nice. Wow. I like this a lot. This is so much better than the other we heard earlier. <laughs> Not one person got in that story. <laughs> this is good. This is good. I like this a lot. Would you turn her into the police station if you had to? <laughs> Probably. <not. laughs> Probably? <laughs> you guys are going to make it. <laughs> I really wish the best for you guys. Wow, that's beautiful. Is there a third? Is, is there a third one we can end this segment on? Is there another, a good third one? Can we top that? Something they want to confess to? Far in the back. back. Uh oh. Okay. Well, bad. We're nurses. And- Hold on. She said it's bad. <laughs> you guys went. What? Wait, wait, wait. I'm lost. Okay. I heard all of that. But I would like you to repeat it for the class, please. Repeat it one more time? That's hilarious. Me and her had a patient die, and we got the body out really. It's her and I, but okay. <laughs> over top of her and told the charge nurse to come help us put the body in the body bag. And when the charge nurse got there, she jumped up and grabbed her. Damn, that's good. Damn, that is good. Did they shit their pants? That's a good prank, dude. <laughs> you would've got punched in the mouth for sure. Zombie! Wow. Oh, that's good. See, nurses get a lot of leeway with that shit. There's so, much, there's so much to play around with in a hospital. Just killing people. <laughs> a lot of good pranks. Wow. You've got cancer. Ah, it's, cold. it's a cold. You're fucking fine. Dude, these are good, good though. Like, the last show, all we had was, like, this girl said that she can beatbox with her vagina. <laughs> yeah. So unless some of y'all can play the tambourine with your titties, so you're going to have a hard time topping that one. Yeah. And we had, like, three people be like, yeah, we tried to my teacher. We're like, God damn, dude. Omaha, dude. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. That is, that's a really good prank. You hit him under the sheet. What if he would have, what if she would like, would have forgotten her cue and then he just zipped her up? <laughs> Make it all the way to the morgue. Zombie. Full zombie. <laughs> What's that? We don't like it when they flop in the bag, so. When they flop in the bag? What does that mean? I don't like the live ones in the back. You don't like the live ones in the back? That's good. <laughs> that is good. Okay. Solid. Okay. Well, if I'm, someone I'm, could top it, if not, we'll move I'm, on I'm open to it. You have one right here? Uh, we've parked illegally and... Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> and then <laughs> Jay walked? <laughs> and so it turned into like a and the helicopter being handcuffed on the side of the road, and it just ended up that we were at a red lobster. <laughs> 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 the word security was just in his large pinched <laughs> right here. Okay. So you can see that the shirt says security, and so that's who was trying to stop us from parking illegally, and it turns out that we ended up having so because you parked illegally in front of Red Lobster, you were handcuffed, cops showed up with a helicopter and everything. Did you ask to speak to a manager or anything? I she mean, was too busy <laughs> I was gonna say, I was gonna say, maybe he had a mouthful of clam chowder. Oh, <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Gross. Ew. 
Yeah, that's nasty, but they're workplace. So. <laughs> should Damn, I? Damn, I got in trouble just for parking illegally. Should I tell you about the the, the time I got my mom arrested when I was fourteen? Oh. Yes. What story is this? <laughs> <laughs> You ever think you know somebody? <laughs> I was 14 years old, and I, I straight up got my mom arrested for child endangerment uh, because I was masturbating in a car. Was she in the car? <laughs> no. Oh, she, thank God. <laughs> it, okay. was, it was that time of... I mean, we can relate, right? Don't, don't leave me alone on this one. <laughs> <laughs> so far, you're on your own. <laughs> You know that time where you first discover masturbation and you want to do it all the time, every time, any time possible? Still doing it, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 100%. Every time's like the first time. Like Every time you look at your dick, you're like, you can still do this whenever you want. <laughs> yeah, right before we came on stage, Matt was actually... <laughs> we came off stage right before we came on stage. It was crazy. There's a, there's a body of dude in here doing it right now. Hand check. Everybody hand check. <laughs> ah! <laughs> okay, continue. <laughs> so my mom would not leave me at home. She wouldn't do it. She made me, anytime she had to run an errand, she would take me with her. Yeah. And she took me to Walmart. And, <laughs> and I was like, all right, I'm at Walmart. I'm not at home. Leave me in the car. And she left me in the car. And this, by the way, this was like numerous times. Numerous times that she would do this. And one of the times she left me in the car. And apparently, I was in the car masturbating. Mm -hmm. As 14-year-olds do, aggressively. <laughs> Amateur baiting, but yeah. <laughs> And some older lady walked by the car, but all she saw was just like here down and just saw me convulsing and sweating. Why do you jerk off with your whole body? I'm 14, I'm experimenting <laughs> off. My arm was getting sore. To get the, the, <laughs> the momentum. <laughs> Engage your core, lock your arms. I don't okay. know. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you jack off like you're in a rocking chair, bro? <laughs> so this lady was like, somebody left their special child in the car. <laughs> okay. And somehow there's bird shit on the inside of the windshield? <laughs> oh, God. Okay, keep going. I want to hear this. I want to hear this. <laughs> So she had to have called or let like Walmart security know. Uh -huh. And I'm, I'm zoned in, dude. Like eyes closed. I'm just locked in. I'm thinking of Spice Girls and, and Powerpuff Girls or whatever I can possibly wrap my head. <laughs> okay. And a Walmart security dude knocks on the window and I panic and I'm sweating and I wrap everything up and I just look at him and he's like, roll down the window and I, I, I don't know how but I was like locked in like I didn't have the keys I couldn't roll down the windows like it, I was just locked in the car and I just looked at him like oh and he must have thought I was like asking for help but I was just terrified uh, well you were asking for help <laughs> but not uh, for safety <laughs> police officer ends up showing up right they wait for my mom they, my mom comes to the car they make an announcement over the PA system I think that's how my mom found out that there's some child sweaty locked in a car whatever police show up I get out of the car and they ask what was happening and I went my mom locked me in the car it was really hot I'm scared <laughs> because I didn't want to admit that I was jerking off in our Jeep Wrangler <laughs> and they ended up arresting her and taking her in. And I just never said a f thing at all. You didn't, you didn't tell you were in there working the stick shift? You didn't <laughs> tell you were in there, in there shifting gears? I never said anything. What? Yep. You need, I, to, you need to tell her this. <laughs> did I come? Once I saw my mom in handcuffs. <laughs> <laughs> of course he came. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. I, I, had wow. to, I had to get picked up. I had to get picked up like my best friend's parents. I and then he started jerking off in their car. <laughs> I can't bust unless I'm mobile. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be on the move. I like scenery. Oh my god. That's um. Did that we never talk about 
So I don't know. I don't know what happened. The charges or anything. We never talked about it. She never brought it up, and she never asked me to run an errand with her again. <laughs> <laughs> and then you and then you just got to stay at home and do what you wanted to do in the first place. Yep. Look at that working out. Yeah. Not wait. Hold on. What hand? <laughs> Both. Oh. <laughs> there you go. Ew. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Bro, if you jerk off with both hands, you're a monster. Again. <laughs> like you're just churning your own butter, dude. Come on, man. It's about Be having, gentle. It's about having a balanced physique. Arm, core, other arm. Yeah, <laughs> Change it up. I guess so. I guess so. Wow. Huh. Anyone else jerked off in a van? <laughs> Anybody jerk off on an airplane, a train, snowmobile, Wait, is there a scooter? hand up back there? Not me, but I got you beat. You got him beat? It's even worse. In middle school, I walked in on a friend masturbating, and you know what she was using? Huh. You know the things they practice tattooing on? It was a full-on forearm and a <laughs> Wait, like a, a mannequin full, arm? A mannequin arm? From here up, what they practice tattoos on. Yes. That is a pound of flesh. Wait, where'd she get it? She was beating. Gave herself a slimy sleeve. That's disgusting. In middle school? Yeah, where'd she find it in middle school? Where'd she get the arm? Her brother was a tattoo artist. Okay. Well, I want to thank everyone for coming to our paranormal podcast. <laughs> yeah. Uh, wow. Well. Did she return the arm? I sure hope not. Well, you got to hand it to her. <laughs> Her brother just tattoos on it how far it made it in. Oh, no. God. No. Hold on, what, what side was she, did she go elbow first? Oh, Lord, it was like this. It was, it was like this? I ain't gonna get up and show you. You what? I said I'm not gonna get up and show you. You don't have to, you just answer my question. She started from the elbow, so it would, the arm would have been hanging out like this. <laughs> low five. <laughs> <laughs> Down low. Down low. Down low. <laughs> How many fingers am I holding up? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> now that's elbow grease. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. <laughs> I know, dude. <laughs> That beat the beatboxing story yeah, though. That might have. That was good. In well, school? it's probably it for that portion. <laughs> can't imagine what goes really any higher than that. So next portion of the show, um, we have some fan submitted stories. And like I said, the podcast we're gonna cover all things haunting, everything from paranormal to things that just haunt you in your personal life. So. First, we have some funny stories that have, been, have, that have been submitted that haunt these people just in their own personal life. We're going to read some of them first, have some fun, and then we'll dive back into the paranormal stuff. Sound cool? Yeah. Let's get to some And these people who submitted these stories are here. They are all here, and we so will we have should, questions after. Yes. All right, this first uh, story, the, the tagline reads, I found out my husband was cheating on me by going through his phone and finding things from my sister's OnlyFans account. Are you wearing a bridal outfit? Oh, I hope it's the same guy. Wait, is this your story? Well, what does it say? It says rife wife. Rife wife? Oh my God. It, should, it looks like it says corpse bride. <laughs> you guys, you guys get objectified. It's a wonderful outfit. I love it very much. It's a no from me, but I appreciate it very much. Thank you. I'll meet you in the field. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Was it really your story? It's my story. All oh, right, this will be good. Okay. Okay. Fantastic. The story reads... You sit down. <laughs> <laughs> Around Valentine's Day, I decided I needed to finally determine whether or not my husband was cheating. I'd been suspicious for a year or two, but lacked any real proof. His phone had recently broke and was sitting in a drawer next to my bed. He was already sleeping on the couch because we had a fight when I asked him if he was sleeping with his coworker. Oh. 
I woke up in the middle of the night and decided I would pop out the memory card to his phone. I used a skull earring to pick the lock because I am symbolic and was pretty sure this marriage was dead. <laughs> the next day, I went to Target and bought a card reader because I have an iPhone and the douchebag has a Samsung. <laughs> I started loading everything into my MacBook and at first didn't find anything but regular photos of us and our family. I scrolled down to the bottom and discovered my worst fear. Many photos and videos of he and his coworker hooking up. <laughs> mostly, mostly her sucking his and smiling. Wait, you can do that at the same time? <laughs> <laughs> it's like that movie Smile. <laughs> it's better than frowning, I guess. All right. Too much it's teeth, it. dog. Too much teeth. I know. Depends on what you're into. There were multiple women topless on Snapchat, photos and videos I didn't know he had taken of me. And then, the worst part, photos and videos from my slutty sister's OnlyFans account. As if being cheated on wasn't enough, I then had to scroll through my own sister with her vagina out in photos and masturbating in videos. Now keep in mind, he took the time to save all of these to a memory card he loaded on his phone. Since then, I have left both my lawyer and multiple therapists speechless when I dive into details of our split. I framed the receipt from the card reader I purchased and placed it over his head uh, in a photo of us. The date is on the receipt, obviously, and is one I will always remember. I recently went on my first date uh, since my divorce, and the guy's birthday is that same day. I can't decide if that's fate or if I should run. Why are you in a bridal outfit? Because Rife wife. Rife's wife. Oh, is that why? Yeah. Oh, okay. Got it, got it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm interested in the sister, though. What's going on with her? <laughs> I'm trying to hear about your sister's split. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> but also, like, don't snoop around. You know what I mean? So. Are you with your sister right now? No. Okay. Damn. <laughs> I am. <laughs> So how did, you, how did you confront the sister? Uh, I've never actually told her that she's a part of it at all. You haven't even told your sister about it yet? Uh, she knows that we're split, but never told her that How she's do you do Thanksgiving? <laughs> Knowing that you've both had the same stuffing. We <laughs> <laughs> haven't had that yet. It's recent. We haven't had that yet. Well, how, when was the divorce? February. February. <laughs> Super recent. Wow. Okay, I'll rebound. I'm Dennis Rodman, baby. <laughs> You're just getting the rebounds, you know? Doing, it's a team effort. So, that's, uh, so you had the suspicion already. You were already fighting. You go through the phone. You find all this shit. What was that? Paper lip, sorry. Yo, whose phone is going off up here? Somebody should answer that. You guys should, can we answer it for you? Wait, can we answer it? I think it's one of y'all's. It's definitely, it's definitely one of y'all phones. It's definitely <gasps> your phone. It's in there. Oh, everyone boo! boo. Hurry, 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 hurry. Oh, it's your alarm? Take your birth control. Take it. Oh my God. Now let me see your SIM card. <laughs> Is that my brother? <laughs> Is that a tattoo arm? Oh. Oh my God. It's so how did, how did you confront him? Um, I showed him like a slideshow of everything. <laughs> a slideshow? You made a presentation? That's so petty. <laughs> What'd you use, Microsoft? It was an app? Windows Movie Maker? <laughs> Wait, was it Windows Movie Maker? It was. Oh, pre did we, did you, did you didn't for real do a projector. That would have been an amazing laser pointer. <laughs> As you can see, that is not my vagina. <laughs> <laughs> I, can, I understand the resemblance. It is blood, but... Uh. <laughs> oh, man. Wow. That is tough. Well... Sounds like it's for the better then. So how, where'd you go on the first date with this new guy? Oh, God, I don't remember. <laughs> Didn't it just happen? I think it was at Local. Mm. Like the bar and restaurant, it's called Local. It's called Local? Yeah. Way to splurge. 
And did you tell him you are married currently? Yeah, he knows. Okay. Okay. It went well, though. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Where'd you meet the guy? Uh, Bumble. Bumble. <laughs> Red flag a little bit. Yeah. Well, now, which one's Bumble? Is Bumble the one where the woman has to message first? Yeah. Yes. So you were interested? Yeah. The hot guy? Yeah. How old is he? 38. 38. Thought you said he was hot. <laughs> I'm not dead. <laughs> Y'all, my knees are still good, dog. Mm. Okay. And he had the same birthday as your ex? No, his birthday is the day that I kicked uh, my ex out. Oh, so it's kind of like a rebirth. <laughs> Maybe a new relationship was born the day that one died. I like it. I say give him another shot. Sleep with him this time. <laughs> did you? He already did. You did! <laughs> Shout out to local. Shout out to local, man. I don't, wow. wow. You. <laughs> the first date. I love it. Good for you. You got to find out. You got to find out. Good for you. Was it decent? Nice. Oh, that's beautiful. Did you ask him if he has slept with your sister? I will. You should. Follow up. <laughs> Good. Well, thank you for your story. I appreciate it. I'll see you at the altar. <laughs> Ooh, okay. This story says, I found out my doctor boyfriend that only had one leg that was reattached on backwards was cheating on me the entire relationship. Wait, his leg was the same table? <laughs> That's your best friend? This is a toxic friendship. No way this ends well. Okay. okay. What, what, hold on. What, what was the log, log line again? Got cheated on by a guy I with found one leg? Out, yeah, I found out my doctor boyfriend that only had one leg that was reattached on backwards was cheating on me the entire relationship. Wait, why was his leg <laughs> attached put on backwards? backwards? He's walking around like a giraffe, just knees snapping <laughs> the other way, dude. <laughs> wow. He moonwalking over to other houses. <laughs> wow. Okay. Okay. I was in a serious relationship with this guy who had one leg that was on backwards. It's called a rotation plasty. No, it's called a fuck up. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Gave you that good old rotation plasty. Right, I nurses? Didn't... <laughs> I didn't think someone with one leg would ever end up cheating, but hey, here we are. <laughs> we ended up moving to Chicago. <laughs> he was a homie hopper. <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, read it. He gave you that pogo. <laughs> okay, we ended up moving to Chicago <laughs> for his orthopedic surgery residency. And at that time, I was driving back and forth between Omaha and Chicago. One of the mornings I was there and I had this gut feeling that he was talking to someone he works with. He had a Mac desktop and there was no option for guest login. Under his name, I clicked password hint and the hint was my name. I didn't think a doctor would be dumb enough to have that simple of a password, but I typed in Cam with his name being Cameron and it unlocked everything. Who has a three letter password? His messages were linked from his iPhone, and I deep-dived the entire nine hours he was at the hospital and found multiple girls he was talking to, and one of them being a respiratory therapist and a radiology technologist at the hospital he was working at. I'm talking to rich <laughs> I also had given him my Foo Fighters backstage pass. You bragging right now. <laughs> so he could go when I wasn't there, and he ended up taking one of the girls he was cheating on me with to it. I found out by seeing her Instagram and the picture. He also posted on Instagram in the exact same spot. Needless to say, I walked down to the bar a block from where we lived and didn't answer his calls or texts. 
Eventually, I went home and he was crying and I packed up my things and left the next morning. But now, whenever I talk about that story, I always call him the one-legged doctor. Why was his leg backwards? Uh, he had cancer. He fell backwards. He was. Wait. But why would it be backwards? His ankle could be his new knee joint and his prosthetic. Oh, his ankle could be the knee joint in the, in the new prosthetic. I didn't know they could do that. Yeah, it's yeah. rare. Huh, it is rare. Wow. Built like Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> you know, it's so hard because like, I want to make so many like jokes about his situation, but it sound mean. But then he's also a piece of shit, so you kind of can't. No, I'm just saying naturally. I'm not holding back. I'm just saying naturally, like instinctually, you're like, this dude. You remember his situation and you want to go, ah. Wow. Did you show off when you went back to the house to pack up your sh? Um, I. You should have sent him pictures with your new guy, but it's just him from the waist down, just. Aww. Just two legs, just swimming. Yeah. Oh. Did he beg to keep the relationship going and you said, let's just take it one step at a time? <laughs> and you were like, sorry, man, you don't got a leg to stand on. I can't help you out anymore. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I don't feel bad. He cheated. I, I don't give a f I know. <laughs> so wait, so how many, was he hooking up with multiple people? Yeah. How many was it? Three or four that I found. Three or four. How was the though? It was good. So we had three legs and lost one. That's balance. Look at God. Look at God. Evening things out. Ungrateful. That's tough, man. Well, sounds like you made the right move. Congratulations. Was last? What, how long ago was this? Um, uh, five years ago. Five years ago. Have you seen or spoken to him since? Um, no. Really? Not at all. Good for you. He called me crying one time. He called you crying one time? And asked like, if I could take him back. I said no. He asked, if, he asked if, you, if you would take him back. You're like, I'm not taking a step backwards. <laughs> Shoo. <laughs> Only one of them. Oh. <laughs> Whatever, dude. Whatever. <laughs> this dude. That's why it's shoe, not shoes. Yeah. <laughs> If he, if he ever needs an arm, we know where we can find one, though. So. Oh. Should have attached it. <laughs> what if you, can do? you probably can't do that. <laughs> no. Okay, next story. Yeah, next, thank you. Uh, thank you. Give it up, y'all. Thank you. That was amazing. Huh. Oh, me? What the f*** is this word? Huh? Aesthetician. 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 With a nasty waxing story. Okay. <laughs> When I started my aesthetics career 10 years ago, I had to take on Groupons for Brazilian waxing as that was the way, as, as that is what my boss offered new clients to get them in the door. I made $8 per wax and it was rare to get tipped. I've seen all kinds of things during this time and usually nothing really bothers me when it comes to waxing. When I say that I was shocked by what I had seen that day, it's definitely an understatement. This girl was a typical cute, easy client with a fir when I first saw her, and I had a sigh of relief when I looked, when I took her back to the room. I was definitely wrong on that one. I'm not sure what she had been doing before her appointment, but it wasn't showering. <laughs> I had to trim her matted bush before I could even think about putting wax on that situation. <laughs> I managed to get through that, and when it was time for the back, I didn't think it could get any worse than it already was, but I was wrong again. I get her into position to wax her backside, and there is literally a dingleberry in her ass. Oh. I proceeded to go around it in hopes that it didn't fling off at me when I ripped the wax off. After that day, I learned real quick to offer wipes to all clients getting Brazilians. She waxed around the little turd. But like, as the homie, wouldn't you be like, "Am I getting that?" <laughs> oh, 
Oh, where 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 is Bri? 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 What up, Bri? How you doing? <laughs> now, how are you doing? <laughs> you okay? Do you still work at this place? Uh, no. No. I still I am still an esthetician. You're still an esthetician, but no more vaginas. Well, no, I still do that. Yeah. You still do that. But I'm a Got it. You just do it for fun now. <laughs> you don't do Groupons anymore. Do, do, Groupons meaning other people have to come in together, like as a group? No. No, you don't have to do that? It's a coupon. Well, why is it called group? Because that's the worst. We're here to get our assholes waxed. Mass, <laughs> <laughs> eh? Me and the crew yeah. <laughs> coming through getting slit. Hey, they call us Dingle and the Berries. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. <laughs> okay. So, okay. So I just got, I want to say this. When you said that like her pubes were matted up, was it like dreads? <laughs> you know, yeah. like how like bad steel was wool? Like, Brillo pad. I don't know what it was. It was like, like did it look like a dead animal? Velcro? <laughs> Come? Maybe. I don't know. Uh, okay, okay. Other than like the hair and the dingleberry, how was the vagina actually? <laughs> like in and of itself? Yeah. You don't know? You didn't even see it? Well, I saw it. I just blocked it out. <sighs> I bet when you waxed it, it went. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it starts talking to you. It's been 19 years. I owe years. you my life. <laughs> There's a two-year-old baby just like, finally. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's stuck Mama. in my <laughs> Oh. You saved a life. <laughs> you really did. That's disgusting. <laughs> were you circling the dingleberry as you were waxing like an orca <laughs> tracking its prey? <laughs> Terrifying. Wait, how? <laughs> Did the dingleberry end up coming off? It didn't? It stayed put? <laughs> you left it there. <laughs> That's almost just as bad. It would have been funnier if you just pushed it back in. <laughs> was she, like, when, uh, when you were describing her in the beginning of the story, she was like a cute girl, like, seemed very well put together, seemed hygienic. Yeah. God, aren't looks deceiving? <laughs> Isn't that so fucking annoying? You just never know. And that's why you gotta sleep with people on the first date. Imagine you fall deeply in love with somebody, you gotta <laughs> blow, a, blow a dingleberry out of the way at some point. Was it like a raisin? Or was it like a grape? It was a good size. Like raisin. Raisin? A raisin. raisin. <laughs> and girls don't even poop. Yeah, how did that get there? That was somebody else's turn. <laughs> Wow. Somebody played pin the dingleberry on this cute girl. <laughs> uh, this is disgusting. Yeah. Thank you, Nebraska. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you uh, see more good vaginas than bad vaginas? Good. Good. <laughs> Shout out to Omaha. You guys are doing a good thing out here. Good for y'all. Good for y'all. Well, thanks. <laughs> Next story. We have, we have one more uh, one funny, funny one. one. Yeah, yeah. We'll move to paranormal. One more funny one than paranormal. This might be worth, uh, it's, it's a bit of a long one, so it might be worth bringing to life a little bit. Oh, okay. oh. should we act this story out? Yeah! Please be another Dingleberry story. Please. <laughs> I can make it one real quick. <laughs> no. no, you leave it be. No, leave it's it okay. Be. Two friends were getting their assholes waxed. Act it out. <laughs> like we're starting dual lawnmowers. Ring the din in. Mama. <laughs> okay, read it. What's the log line? All right. The log line is getting arrested because I flashed a cop through a sunroof. The summer of 2017. Okay. It was just good, before good my senior year in high school. And you can only expect crazy and wild things to happen the summer before you're the top dogs in high school. 
Acting out. Okay. Top dogs. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Show us your t- <laughs> You fart. <laughs> A deal of the deal. A deal of the deal. (laughs) That? (laughs) You guys in the back couldn't see. They were tucked into her belt. You guys couldn't see it. (laughs) This might have been the craziest evidence we've ever got. (laughs) Wow. Wow. (laughs) Nice. (laughs) Good job. Those are fantastic. Shut up. (laughs) Mine are way too expensive. (laughs) Wow. Um, I'm going to go sit in your mom's car for a little (laughs) bit. (laughs) Don't mind me. I'll just be outside. Minding my own business, steaming up the window. <laughs> it's, now, it's now Spice Girls, Powerpuff Girls, and Matt. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Read the story. <laughs> to give you, <laughs> to give you more perspective, I come from a town that has a population of 250 people in the middle of northern Minnesota. Yeehaw! Yeah. That's not a town. That's an apartment complex, by the way. <laughs> okay. It was a Friday night, and a few of my friends wanted to go booze cruising. If you're not from a, if you're not from a small hick town, this is usually just driving around and drinking beer. I had gotten ready, stole a case of beer out of my mom's garage, and at around 9 p.m., we took off for the night. The friend that picked me up had a Pontiac Grand Prix, and this specific car had a sunroof. We had drove around for hours just jamming to music and ditch bogging. The f is ditch bogging? What the f is that? That's what she does for a living. (laughs) (laughs) Ditch bogging? Does anyone know what that is? You drive through ditches, you drive through like the mud and the water. You drive through ditches. You, you destroy your car while drunk. With your truck. You go through the ditches in the mud and the water and you throw it everywhere. Nebraska. You are in Nebraska. Yeah, you guys need, you guys, wait, wait till you guys hear about the internet, bro. You guys are going to lose your mind. Okay, so this story is about Amish people. Let's do it, okay. Okay, we're okay. ditch bogging. <laughs> 2.30-ish a.m. rolled around and we were headed back towards our hometown because I had the drunk munchies. We were a few miles from my house on the highway and at this point, I was a whole new person. The alcohol had kicked my ass so hard I had to keep one eye open and one eye shut to concentrate on what was happening. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. We had gotten closer to town, and I noticed a car was in front of us on the other side of the highway. No! (laughs) What's that? Shut up. Drunk me had light bulbs lighting up in my head with what I thought was the best idea of my life. I had put my beard down, climbed onto the center console, and positioned my feet so I didn't fall over while opening the sunroof. I stuck the top half of myself out and started shedding my top layer. Not just a sweatshirt, but my t-shirt and bra as well. All while Your we- tickets weren't nearly as expensive enough, okay? <laughs> In your f- dreams, virgins. 
<laughs> All while we are about to pass the oncoming car on the highway. As the car passed, I had then successfully flashed someone my t out of a sunroof. As drunk as I was, I've never sewed up so quick when I realized the person I had flashed had Sheriff written on the side of the car. By the time I shoved myself back into the car and put a random t-shirt on that my friend had in the back of her car, the cop had whipped around and had its lights on. When he pulled us over, my friend and I were both arrested. Damn! My friend was arrested for a DUI and I was arrested for indecent exposure. At this time, I was only 17. So all of it was complicated and the charge didn't stay on my record until after I turned 18. Thank God, now I live by two rules, don't drink beer and stay away from sunroofs. <laughs> all right, be honest. Was it you that flashed the cop? <laughs> yes! Was it really? No. Oh, uh, see, have you learned nothing? <laughs> Just a serial flasher. <laughs> uh, Over there? Julianne? Shame! 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 I don't know. Hold on. Hold on. There's a picture of the on here. You don't got enough money for that. I've got tw <laughs> Okay. Hey. Hey, listen. This is Nebraska. I've got $20. Okay. I'll pay your rent, baby girl. <laughs> Oh my God. Okay, is this still on your record right now? No. When does it get expunged? Is there, is there like a limitation to it? I had to do a stay of adjudication. You had a what? Stay of adjudication. Okay. <laughs> I had to skip your classes with premature pedophiles. Wait, you had to sit in a class with premature pedophiles? <laughs> That's like, take, that's like teaching a dog class with treats all around the room. <laughs> I was like... That's what you do. Your was out. Damn. Okay. Okay, wait, so... How long so was this class? It was like 35 minutes. Max. That's it? How the class that? is 35 minutes long and they're just like, no more through the sunroof. And you're like, fine. Oh. Okay, wait, this so. It's a hellhole. What about your friend? Because your friend got tried as an adult, right? Oh, yeah. Okay, he's going to jail for that. For how long? Well, it depends. I don't even know what she got bailed out of. But yeah, you lose your driver's license and everything. Hold on. It for, was, for the DUI. Yeah. yeah. You got your friend arrested for a DUI, and then you don't even know how long she was in jail for how much it cost to get out. You were just having a good time in class with some pedos and just didn't care. <laughs> she, wouldn't be friends with you after that. she wouldn't be friends with you after that. I wonder what? why. Rude. You guys were a good duo. You're the best duo I've seen since these man. <laughs> Name a better duo. I'll wait. Maybe those two. But <laughs> I don't know. Boy, that's tough. Because like, you're having fun with your friend, you know what I mean? Like, uh -huh. they, she, she knew. She knew when the sunroof was over. She was on the same game plan. That's not, that's not fully on you. You can't waste your best food days not showing them. You can't what? Waste your best boob days not showing them. You can't waste your best bo boob days? Is that a thing? I know that. Wait, really? Women have good boob days? Really? Do they what? change in the weather? I, I don't can't. understand. <laughs> Like what? 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 Like what classifies a good boob day? Like they're they don't sag. They don't sag. Before kids? Oh, that's yeah. What's that? Just when they don't have the wear and tear. Yeah. <laughs> Understandable. So there's a so there is a day even before having children that women will be like, oh, they look better today than usual. That's interesting because dudes, I don't know that we have good days, but we do have different level of hard. We oh, do yeah. have that. Yeah. Every dude is like, there's, there's soft, there's hard, and then there's hard. <laughs> H-O-R-D. That's when you're, you're like, who's 
is this? <laughs> Who? What? <laughs> I ain't never seen that inch before. <laughs> I don't know what it's just a different <laughs> level of like when you jerk off you're not like you're not hard <laughs> it is hard you can get through that you know I'll be honest a good a good soft day happy day great day when you wake up in the morning you're like wow occasionally soft we're, we're doing that today soft good job buddy you know it depends you know what you know what it costs that though it, it, it depends on what kind of pants you're wearing I think Oh. I just got these. Uh, they're like um, they're like those those swishy those like kind of swishy pants or whatever. They're like like almost like a, like a windbreaker material. Yeah, you get a good soft hang on that. <laughs> Fellas, treat yourself. <laughs> Dude, what has happened to our podcast? <laughs> <laughs> what the? F- <laughs> what? <laughs> just sharing tricks of the trade, you know, <laughs> the trade. That's all. Should we go into paranormal? I guess. <laughs> Let's do it. First question, just because we don't have an asked yet. Who here, make noise, 100% believes in the paranormal? <laughs> a really good amount. A good amount. And okay. we always like to gauge about the opposite. Who absolutely does not believe, 100%? Really? You don't believe? Can I, can I ask you why you don't? Wait, hold on. You didn't even believe your own f- phone was ringing, and it was in... <laughs> the phone was in your... And you're like, no, not me, not me. <laughs> All right, break it down. Why no, why no ghosts? I just haven't had an experience, I guess. You just haven't had any experience yet. You ever had your butthole ate? <laughs> Be Doesn't honest. People not out here doing it. You ever masturbate with a, with a tattoo arm? <laughs> Hard to believe, but it's out here. Well, that's kind of the hope for these stories. They, these stories we're about to read are, again, from people here at the show who have had paranormal experiences in hopes that we can maybe turn you into a, a believer. I, I believe it, but like, I just haven't experienced it myself, I guess. Understandable. Well, hopefully these can kind of reassure you. Has anybody here, not a submitted story, but maybe they wanted to or didn't know they were supposed to submit a story, anybody had any of like the highest... Oh, how do I want to word this? Like the, the poltergeist yeah. level activity. Like the most extreme kind of interaction you could possibly have. Anybody, anybody been dragged, scratched, hurt, thrown around a room? Have you? So my parents have kind of in the middle of the Shh. Hey. <laughs> and, and, and to clarify, did you see this happen or is it like hearsay? No, this has happened to all of us in the family. And you, you've had someone in the family been, been thrown, pushed, levitated, head spin backwards, vomited? Yeah, yeah. So in their house, it's, they're the only ones who ever lived in the house it's out in the middle of Egypt. Like, it's... Egypt? Egypt. <laughs> Egypt. Oh, bum. We have to say that. <laughs> can't just be like Cairo. Are you ordering Did a drink just... mid-story? That's the most alcoholic I've ever seen in my entire life. Okay. There is, if we call it the, like the mist, it's like this black mist that kind of like will hang over you, but it'll shove you. It'll like, it shoved my sister off the couch, I've been downstairs, and it's like shoved me while I was watching a movie, but you always see it coming. And it, yeah, it's like this mist that like hangs around and then it'll like whoosh. Like it, it doesn't even try to hide. Like it just floats throughout the house. Yeah, all, every, like every single person in my family has seen it separately without anybody else around. And has anyone done any research on the house? As like, is it is it the land maybe it's on? Is there anybody passed away in the house? It might have been some like Indian burial ground or something. Was anybody using drugs? <laughs> Man. Oh man. Says the other black mist. <laughs> if you find some, you let me know. We gonna find a sunroof. <laughs> Let's go, bro. Do you do you have any if everyone's seen it, do you have video of it? Pictures? Anything? No, because you can't picture it. I tried. You, you can't. Picture it? Like, I've tried to videotape it and you can't see it. You'll see, like, kind of 
like a movement in the shadow, but people are like, oh, that's just light shadows and stuff like that. But like, you can't get it coming at you. Like it doesn't, it just doesn't develop on the camera. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Oh, that's even creepier. We've tried phones. We've tried like actual cameras. You should set up a GoPro in the corner of your living room, and it, just kind of wait for it to happen. That feels a little less forced. Maybe it won't see it coming. Yeah, yeah. Trick it. Yeah. Trick it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah for sure, yeah. Matt. <laughs> I'm gonna sit on demon. the couch yeah. now. I hope nobody shoves me. So wait, does that mean you have a bunch of videos of you guys just falling off couches? <laughs> <laughs> it just doesn't show like it's green screened. <laughs> There's nothing there. Does you guys just get knocked off? <laughs> Drugs. Drugs. So less of a black mist, more black tar heroin. Yeah. That checks out. That'll knock you off a couch. I'm sure will. <laughs> Okay, all right, that's, that's some good poltergeist activity. I like that, can anybody top that? You've had your, you've had your foot pulled? So is her ex. <laughs> Permanently. I have a video of a UFO on my phone. You have a video of a UFO on your phone? Yeah. Like how prominent? Is it just a light in the sky? Or are you like, that's a f UFO? <laughs> I uh, lived in Denver. Okay. Up at like 3 a.m. And I looked out and I was like, oh, that's a bright ass star. And then it just disappeared. And it wasn't cloudy at all. So I filmed it. And if you zoom in, you can see the lights orbiting. That's oh. creepy. Will you send that to us? When this podcast comes out, it won't make any sense for this episode, but for another episode, for sure, when we talk about UFOs and aliens. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. Please, please send that. Please send us that. I would love to see that. Thank you. <sighs> yep. Uh, anyone else? <laughs> Has any, I'm, I'm Jane, because we've asked this before and sometimes we get nothing, but other times we've had people like actually have crazy phenomena. I see your hand going up way back there. Have you seen someone just get thrown across a building? Okay, I haven't or anything, and it's not like that. One of our friends has a video. It was a whole bunch of girls got done at the bars, and they went back to their college house, and they were taking a video of the girl dancing, and in the background, you see somebody blow by in the hallway, and nobody else is there. No way. Yeah, no, there's a video of it. We've seen it. You have a you video of it? Video? Yeah, yeah, we'll get it for you. Oh, sh and the very next day they sent it to the landlord and the landlord like broke the lease and let them move out and whoa it was, like super creepy and it just floats by there's no legs it's just like a body that <laughs> floats by in the hallway was it a doctor <laughs> <laughs> no legs it just floated by yeah <laughs> I'm just picturing a ghost on a hoverboard for some reason. <laughs> the little one where you just put your, your way forward. Yeah. Oh, vine. Wait, the fact that the landlord saw it and then let you out of the lease makes me think that that landlord knows who or what it is. Yep. Yeah. Did you ever ask the landlord, like, no? Why not? Didn't ask any questions. It wasn't. It's not us. It was one, like a group of our friends. So I don't know what happened between the landlord and them, but I know they got to break their lease and dip. Gotcha. Send us that video. Please, please find that send it to us. That's awesome. I would love to see that. Were any of the girls hot? <laughs> what about the dead one? Okay. Good to know. Good to know. <laughs> All right. Let's read some stories. Everybody calm down. Let's keep the table talk to a minimum. Imagine you're around a fireplace, a campfire, hearing some ghost stories. So this says... I saw my grandma weeks after she passed walking down the street in front of our home. What the fuck she doing on the street? <laughs> <laughs> hey, grandma's for the streets. <laughs> <laughs> She's for the streets now. Yeah. Get out, grandma. <laughs> Let me back in, please. We're telling everyone you're dead. Go. <laughs> Go, Grandma. It's out there. <laughs> sorry, I'm, I'm sucking sorry. people's souls out. Yeah. Oh. I know. I live in my grandparents' home that's over 100 years old. My grandma passed in 2018, and I moved into her old room for more space, being I worked at home. One day, I'm sitting at my desk, happened to look out my window, and I see this old lady. She was dressed exactly like my grandma would. She even had her beloved red lipstick on. I thought, maybe it's an old lady with dementia, so I should go help. <laughs> She stops at the end of the driveway, turns facing the house and driveway. 
She turns, looks up toward me, seemingly to get my attention, then starts walking. Now, when I mean walking, this is faster than old people can walk. <laughs> I know what you're talking about. That's what's sad. <laughs> I took off downstairs looking out of every window that leads to the back. Nothing. I go all the way outside. I can see several yards. Nothing. I come in pale because I knew in my heart I had just seen my grandma. Weeks go by and I find my now mentor who gives me a reading for confirmation and sure enough, my loving, energy-filled, vibrant grandma comes through saying, it's about time. I've been on the street. <laughs> I am floored because of I finally had my first full experience. Of course, then years later, my son starts to see black shaped figures in his room that would communicate with him as well as our childhood dog sleeps at the end of his bed. He has told me, wait, the dog told you that? <laughs> Sorry, the way that was ro <laughs> roast. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I talked to my sister who has also seen the shadow black figures peeking around the corners in our dining room. It has been a great adventure these past few years. My sister who has got me watching this channel, shout out to her. Thank you for bringing this amazing content and making it a safe space to share these stories. Wow. Uh, Christina, where's Christina at? Okay, so can you tell us more about this? Has anyone else like seen your grandma? Uh, no, it was actually just me. Yeah, it was just me that saw her. Have you seen her since? No, I have not seen her since. Why'd you turn British? Have you seen her since? The f <laughs> it didn't sound British. <laughs> Kind of did. Polite way of asking. <laughs> Make your granny. You Yankees. Have you seen your grandmother? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you haven't seen her. <laughs> did you feel scared <laughs> when you saw her? <laughs> Bit comforting, isn't it? <laughs> did your family believe you? When you saw and you told everybody, did they believe you? Oh, my sister did. Um, she's the one that, when I came in, she saw me. And so, yeah, she, she believed me. <laughs> Bollocks. <laughs> Bollocks. <laughs> Bollocks. I know, but it's like comforting and scary at the same time. Like, I, I don't know. How, how long was it after she passed that you saw her? Um, it was about a year or so. A too year. Long. That's too long to come back to say goodbye. I told my grandpa that before he passed away. I was like, hey, don't say goodbye. <laughs> Dip. Really? Yeah, man. Yeah? I feel like that's, like that's like the appropriate cordial amount of time to come back to like say goodbye to your loved one. Like 24-hour turnaround. After that, you're going to scare me. <laughs> like I'm expecting maybe something of that in 24 hours. A year later, it's like, go. <laughs> did, you, uh, did you like Granny? I, I did. I moved in with her, and that's where I got, I got closer with her over that time of living with her. So I actually kind of like take, took care of her while I was there. Aww. Okay. And then you put her on the streets. <laughs> She's out there sucking for butterscotch candies. <laughs> <laughs> and one of those little wafer cookies, the chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry ones. <laughs> so <f> good. <laughs> That's actually kind of adorable, though. I, that's, that would give a little bit of solace, you know? Did your parents believe you, or did any other family members believe you? My mom did a little bit, um, but it took her a little bit of time to get to her, to like, explain it to her, but she, uh, she caught a little bit. What else did this, um, who was it, a medium that you were talking to? Yeah. What, what else did they say besides your grandma said it's about time? She, they just were kind of telling you she's like gonna be with, with me along like these next journeys of my, like, my life here and, and be like supportive, kind of like a spirit guide for me. No way! Oh, that's actually fantastic news. Yeah. I hope she bought, I hope she paid for a ticket. <laughs> <laughs> this ain't a free show. <laughs> Guardian Angel or not. What's your grandma's name? Her name's Arlene. Arlene? 
All right, Arlene. <laughs> we were just kidding about the good days earlier. <laughs> Skeptical about this. <laughs> <laughs> the idea of a spirit being with you at all times is a little bit scary. Like, I appreciate like the protection aspect of it, but like you don't need to be around all the time. No. Yeah. Not all the time. No. I think about it sometimes. Like if I, if I'm gonna if I'm gonna masturbate, I'll be like, you gotta sage the room first. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. I turn into the ghost. I'm like, get out. <laughs> Some shit's about to go down. <laughs> I'm about to ghost bust. Yeah. <laughs> ghost bust. <laughs> yeah, because that's kind of, that would make me so self-conscious. Because then, then, then I got to think about my grandpa being like, again? <laughs> Come on, man, let it breathe. <laughs> Grandpa's going to be like, that's not a good day. <laughs> Come on, boy. <laughs> <laughs> so back to the ghost. Um, so I guess I just got one more question about this. The shadow figures. You said that your son sees them as well? Yeah, he came to me and was like, I'm seeing these like shadows in my room. And I was like, are they talking to you? Like, what's, what's, the, what's the feeling here? And he was just like, they would talk to him. They said they would, they would when I would sage the house, that they would go next door. Uh, and just, like the house next door. Wait, wait, you would sage the house and your son told you that the spirits would tell him that they would leave the house while you sage it. They would go next door. You're a terrible neighbor. <laughs> You're the, whatever the opposite of State Farm is, that's you. <laughs> that's terrifying. Damn. But also, interesting to know that ghosts know what sage is and they're like, we just gotta let the air out. <laughs> and we right back in that bit. <laughs> how how old your son? Uh, my son's nine. Nine. I feel like that's when you you can start believing them a little bit. Yeah. Nine. They're conscious. They can make it. It's definitely believable. He he actually was in my room, and when I mean he like woke up out of a sleep, like he was like full panicking, like screaming that he saw something at the end of my bed. You gotta move. I don't know. <laughs> or to send it to your neighbors. Terrifying. Thank you for your story. I yes. love that, actually. I love it. Bit Thank of family, you for that. Give it up, y'all. Guardian angel. Makes a little bit of haunting. I like that. Okay, so I read this one earlier, and I will say I think this might be one of the craziest stories we've ever had submitted, and apparently the entire family is here as well, so everyone involved in the story is actually here. Um, oh. the, the tagline reads, our house will be the next based on true events horror movie. It reads, our house was built in 1918 and our family has been in this house since 2008. Before even settling down in this house, my mom, Christy, has had many different experiences growing up, like a childhood painting that caused more hauntings than one person could bargain for, or even dreams and nightmares that came to fruition. I, Alexis, joined the house in 2020. Before living with his family, Sasha, my now sister, would tell our friends all about the activity in the house, many of those being that pictures on the walls would be ripped off the wall. My mom was so upset that she had to glue the frames to prevent them from coming off. The basement would look like a tornado went through it with heavy furniture being flipped upside down. They even called a priest in in hopes to calm down whatever was happening, but to no avail. Another time I had been woken up to my sister, Sasha, calling me asking if my brother was in my room or if I was awake. Turns out they had seen someone pacing in my room from my window while I was asleep. The same night, we were sitting in our alley, which faces our kitchen, where we saw big hands opening our window blinds for only a split second at a time. We hear constant running upstairs and heavy booted footsteps at our house many times throughout the night. We even have the lady in white, who we believe is a dead witch that is connected to my mom from before even living in this house. Now, to get to something that has scared so many people from wanting to enter our house, we believe this thing controls a lot of negative energy and has even caused some deaths in the home. It looks like a gray, translucent, pointed elbow, shouldered, skin to the bone, almost like bat skin looking thing with hair that looks like it had not been brushed. 
Its facial features are gray. Its facial features are gray with only hollow eye holes. Also, it is butt naked. With dingleberries. We truly believe that this has also caused my brother and even my friend to be heavily affected by that energy to also the point of possession. The entities in our home have quite the strength and energy where they have turned on gas, fire systems, strobe lights, my mom does does have epilepsy, lights, opened doors, slammed doors on our faces, held brooms straight up, and even chokes and holds down people in their sleep. What? They also mimic voices of people who wouldn't currently be in the house along with animal sounds. This is a house of horror that we keep trying to be ourselves in with no fear. We do have many, many more experiences, but we've been able to get help from many who know how to protect us and the dangers we encounter daily. That's what? Where's the Adams family? <laughs> right here? Yes. Alexis and everyone else, I assume. That's what I said. <laughs> you guys gotta move. <laughs> why, why don't you move? Mortgage. Mortgage? Be poor somewhere else. <laughs> That's insane. I'd rather be out so much money, not in a haunted house. I will admit, there's been, if you listen to the story, it said that we were in the alley, uh, that when we watched the blinds. Yeah. There's been many times we slept in the alley in my car. You slept in the car because you were like too afraid to sleep in the house? Oh, yeah. It'll chase them out of the house. Are you f-ing kidding me? What? This sounds like. We have, yeah. we have so many videos and photos. It's, it sounds like almost every type of ghost I've heard of. It's like poltergeist, gray man, um, uh, what's the- uh, Lady in white. Lady in white was Lady in white, what's the, um, the one, that, the mimic one? Um, I mean, there's doppelganger. Doppelganger. Skin, skinwalkers essentially yeah. do that too. I don't know, that was the noise. There's been many times, like, we didn't even realize it was something to be scared of. For example, the other day, I heard my daughter singing, and I came around the corner, and I was like, what were you singing? And she was like, I, what are you talking about? I wasn't even down here. And I was like, oh. Can you actually sing? <laughs> <laughs> my sister's the singer. She's Broadway. Oh, so that's what you hear her singing. You're like, ah, oh, bullshit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> nice try. This one sounds like a dying owl. <laughs> how how long has your family lived in this house for? 2008. Oh. I've only came in, like I said, in 2020, and I've still experienced things, and I'm like, I adopted her and her brother. And- Give her back. <laughs> you just you adopted her into a hell house. <laughs> That's terrible. Doubt it. This house is way better than the trauma from the other. Okay, so I don't know. You called in a However, priest. Yes. He couldn't help. He's, it made it worse. White magic. Well, yeah. <laughs> the priest made it worse. So what did he do? He came in, tried to do a blessing, a cleansing, and he agitated everything and just stirred it up. Yeah. yeah. It was. It. I, I, a friend of mine, after we started getting scratches and burn, like we were, we'd be sitting there, and all of a sudden you'd get this bad vibe. And then uh, I looked down one day, and my daughter started getting like these lines on her, and she was burning her. She said, it, "I could see scratches showing," but she was like comparing to some burning. And uh, we had called somebody, and a friend of mine, and she, they were they were very religious, and I was like, "We pray. We, do, we don't know what to do." Um, and she said she recommended a priest, and so we, we contacted the church um, local, and uh, they sent a priest over, and he did a blessing. He did all the windows. And what about the walls? <laughs> the sweat drops. <laughs> all these demons crawl. <laughs> <laughs> oh please, please, mother! <laughs> oh please, please, goddamn! 
Also, I also I I love the idea because like exor- exorcism or exercising a house is like such a big professional ordeal. I love I love the idea of you guys living in the most like wholesome, innocent Omaha town. And this one priest is like, I'm not even really religious. I don't. I just I fuck, I help with the banquets. <laughs> Demons aren't really my thing. You just like so you're asking such a big ask of like a regular priest. <laughs> Yeah. Apparently, it was known as the haunted house on Street. Everyone knew before you moved in that it was the haunted house on that street. Got you got a good deal. I wonder why. <laughs> How much does this house cost? Uh, I got it for eighty-five thousand dollars. Damn. Wait, hold on. Is your mortgage six hundred sixty-six dollars a month? <laughs> Elton, you should buy this house, dude. You want to go halves? <laughs> halves? You want to go halves and buy this house from them? I mean, yeah. Do you want to get the out of your house? I- Dude, if we buy your house, I'm not even kidding. Can you give us all of the evidence, everything that you've ever documented? I'll buy your house right now. $85,000? If, if, you, if, you if you genuinely have photos, videos, everything, like indisputable proof, I will buy this house from you, get you the out, Absolutely. and help you even get into your next one. We'll even put you up in a If La anyone Quinta. knows me, I'm not joking. You... Okay. We're up after the show. I'm gonna get your information. Send me everything, and if it's legit, we'll fuck. I'll, we'll fuck either I'll buy it or we'll do it together. We'll buy your fucking house, and we'll help you get into it. I tell you one. what, I'm ba- I'm back here in Omaha in like a month. You should come with me. We should stop by their house. Deal. Deal. For an investigation. Deal. Deal. Let's do it. Deal. Come here. Come here. Let's come do here. it. Come here. I can't, my arm's not the Oh, no, you said Iowa? I'm out, I'm out. Don't buy the house, don't buy the house, don't buy the house, don't buy the house. <laughs> Next story, uh, my grandma left me something. <laughs> it's a deal. Oh, shit. Okay. It's a deal, it's 100% a deal. All right, we're gonna buy your house. We're left the They looked up the history and there's like two confirmed deaths, but also- Oh, that's only it, two? <laughs> Because that's like a last person. Okay, I'm, I'm being 100% serious. Send me everything, and if it's not because bull- if anyone knows me, I will f- go through everything. If it's not bull- I'm buying your house. Done deal. <laughs> or we are. I don't care. Yeah. Absolutely. We're going to turn it into a Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to gentrify your street. <laughs> <laughs> Nine percent interest. Is that Iowa? Yeah. Iowa. Damn. I'm sure they feel the same way. <laughs> this hellhole of a state, man. I went there. I bought it online. Now the thing is, we, I lived and worked in Missouri, and my husband was a collegiate best, uh, baseball coach, and he got a job in Iowa. And we just went sight unseen. Wow. Uh, you bought it without even going to that's, it. By the way, that's Blair House. It's exactly what happened with Kristen Bell in the Blair House. It really? was up for auction. It was online sale. She had no idea. She bought it. Turns out it had like 150 years of paranormal history in the house. Yep. And no one had to disclose it because it's not part of like real estate regulations. You don't have to disclose people doing seances in a living room. Mm-hmm. You should have to. <laughs> you don't you have really to. really should have to. Damn. That's amazing. I'm really, look- I'm really looking forward to seeing the, the video and photo evidence you guys have. That's Super fascinating. Yeah, we have a video of us doing a seance in the living room. Does anything happen in it? Hold on. What? <laughs> you just said your house is haunted. Y'all are getting bruised and scratched and getting pushed around and terrified. And you said, let's make it worse. I love you guys. I'm buying your house. <laughs> oh, you don't live there? Hold on. Whose girl, who's girlfriend are you? Sasha. Oh, what's up, Sasha? Are y'all lesbians? <laughs> And in Iowa, no wonder they Dang. mad. Dibs on their room. <laughs> <laughs> God, <it's... laughs> What's that? The ghosts don't like the gays. The ghosts don't like the gays? No, for real, the house stole my wallet six months ago and has not returned it. <laughs> they better return that shit with interest. <laughs> just racking up charges. <laughs> it just, when did I rent the exorcism? <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> it was during Pride Month. No. Stole it. No. No, six months ago. Oh, oh I think it was a month ago. Yeah. Six. yeah. Hush up. <laughs> Just trying to look out. I know. I appreciate it. Where am I? Shh. 
Yeah, where in Iowa is this? <laughs> 45 minutes from Beliska. Crestonville? Okay. It's, in, it's in between here and Beliska, right? Yeah. It's on the other side. Oh, other side. So it's, an, so it's two, two hours from here. Two story house, three story house. Two story and a basement. Two story and a basement. That'll do it. A two story house for 80K. And you didn't know it was haunted. <laughs> it's Iowa, dude. It's Iowa, dude. That's a f- mansion. Yeah, you forget. We live in LA. That's a normal house price, dude. Only in LA is a one bedroom. $3. You know, $2 crack $2 houses go for one point two million. In LA. Yeah, you guys ever thought about just hustling drugs out of this house? Really? Oh, I bet some. I bet some crazy dark was going on there. Like, is it like maybe like a fake safe house kind of thing? Yeah, it has like it's a square room inside the wall. No way. We have shit. We sealed it off as best we can. We just put furniture. We don't let anybody open it because when she was little, um, we had to put a in the first grade and her and one of her friends were having a sleepover and it was so big I treated it like a fun thing I I turned it into like a play go play in the wall go to your wall she had like a three foot dollhouse a table and chairs in there and it had electric and so carpeted and so it's like a nice little clubhouse and it's like a one bedroom in LA <laughs> nice. It's pretty big in there, and so the girls were in there playing, and I heard screaming, and the lights in our house started like uh, dimming and getting really bright, and we started hearing some crashing sounds, and the light bulbs were in there shattering over their heads, and they heard some growling, and so I ripped them out of there, and we sealed it all. That's from both of them plugging in their vibrators at the same time. <laughs> Causing an electrical <laughs> surge. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Dude, that's nuts. Childhood yeah. toys are still in there. I didn't care. Childhood toys are still in there. Where are your Dude. adult toys? <laughs> Bedside table. Dude, seriously? Hey, we're buying though? it with all furniture included, by the way. <laughs> fully furnished. <laughs> I want it fully furnished. <laughs> Bro, seriously though, that's actually like one of the craziest stories like we've heard this entire tour. Yeah, that's pretty that fucking good. That is wild. That is pretty damn good. Thank you for sharing that with us. I appreciate that. That is our, our full our full time here. Um, and I hope you've all had a wonderful time. I really do. Thank you. Uh, you guys are so much fun. Omaha, thank you so much for coming out and hanging out with us. I'll see you guys in about a month. Enjoy your week. Be safe. Yep, and if anyone wants to grab merch, all that shit. It's literally going towards all the camera guys that are here, our editors, making more of these episodes. They're all going on YouTube. Thank you all so much for being a part of the show. You've been wonderful. Have a good night.